flawless victory. What's up, Ken Folk? It's your favorite internet big brother, Big Bro Dazzy, and I have some amazing news for you. Sega is releasing a mini console. They said, hey, I'm trying to get on this mini console train too. I honestly thought they were just gonna sit back and be like, Nah, whatever, I'm gonna let Nintendo, I'm gonna let Sony have, you know, saying they're shine, they already got the market cornered. Nah, boy, they coming through, and I think they're coming through for the people. They're gonna have 40 games on this system, 40. Compared to like PlayStations or uh, Super Nintendo's like 16 or 20, they're coming through with 40 because Sega can what Nintendo. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I mean. I'm out here, baby, I'm out here. I got PlayStation Classic, I got my SNES Classic, I got the NES Classic in the back at home, you know what I mean? Hey, I'm out here, what, what you doing with your life, huh? Sega is actually releasing this. I'm actually really excited for it, man. They've done this before. They've released, uh, they've released the system and the system was absolutely horrible. Like the buttons would stick, my homeboy had it. It was a third party system. It, it didn't come from Sega, so. It, it, the buttons were sticky, the games were laggy, it was just a bad piece of hardware, the software was terrible, so this one is actually going to be the game. Like, you know how, I know you can use an emulator, an emulator works fine, because I use it all the time. I'm about to put Auto Bleem on my P PS uh, Classic, so it is what it is. What is Auto Bleem is basically gonna add more games to this system. I like this system though, it's not bad. But yeah, this comes straight from Nintendo, this comes straight from Sony, so you're getting these games, you know what I mean? But yeah, it was terrible, the third party systems were terrible, so this is their up, this is a, another go for them. So I'm excited to see what they bring. It has its own website bro, genesismini.com, so this thing is official. It has the nostalgic aesthetic of, of Sega, it's giving you that feel of the 90s, cause I'm a 90s kid, man. This was the first system that uh, got me on the games. Like. I had an NES and my pops bought it for me, he was in the military, he bought it for me when uh, when I was younger, you know what I mean? So I had games like Dragon Spirit, I had Mario, I had uh, Duck Hunt, and I had the worst TMNT known to man. I go to my cousin's house, they had like Turtles in Time, I go to my friend's house, they had Turtles in Time, you know what I'm saying, getting to fight uh, Bebop and Rocksteady and, and Baxter Stockman, I'm out here playing TMNT. That game was trash, boy. Did my parents hate me? I think. So let's see, it, it says, the Sega Genesis Mini comes with a miniature Sega Genesis replica. Duh, I'll be mad if it didn't. Includes 40 legendary games, ready to plug and play, like most of them, as it should be. Uh, comes out September 19th, 2019. Looking directly at the website. I'm gonna put that on, I'll make sure that's on the screen for you guys, so don't you worry. Um, the iconic Sega Genesis returns in a stick miniaturized from uh, miniaturized form along with two classic three button control pads. Official Genesis seal of quality. That, it's legit. It's legit. Made by Sega. Very important. Genesis Mini delivers quality as only a first party product can. Not third. You remember when I was talking about that third party? How, how the, the buttons were sticky and it was trash and all that? This is coming from Sega, so imagine uh, straight up Sega Genesis, it's just smaller, right? Includes the classic three wire button uh, control pads that Sega's always had, and it just lists right here what it's coming with. Like I said, the console, the control, the controller, the USB power adapter, power cable, HDMI as it should. Now for the important part. What about the games, Dazzy? What about the games? Preloaded with 40 legendary Genesis games. Here's what we've revealed so far. Dun, dun, dun. Echo the Dolphin. I play Echo Jr. So I'm really familiar with Echo the Dolphin. I played both, but I owned Echo the Dolphin Jr. Same thing, dope game. Played the hell out of it, actually. Castlevania Bloodlines. I didn't play Bloodlines, never played it, but I played, uh, I played other Castlevanias. You know what I mean? Uh, Space Harrier 2, I never played that. Shining Force, never played it. I'm being honest with you, never played it. It looks dope though. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, I played that. I had a couple friends that actually had that. I didn't own it, but it was fun. To uh, Toe Jam and Earl, classic. Comic Zone, classic. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, that's a given, right? I, wish, I hope they have Sonic and Knuckles though. That was my joint. But Sonic the Hedgehog, they also had that little label that said not for resale or not for sale. 
on it. You know what I mean? I loved it, and it came with the game. Man, shout out to my uh, cousin. I call him my cousin. I call him my big bro, but he's really my cousin, Lil Jerry. No, he's my big bro. Shout out to Lil Jerry, man. He put me on. Uh, he put me on the games, bro. He put me on Paperboy. He put me on Sonic. And once he put me on Sonic, it was a wrap. You get the Dazzy, you get the day. You know what I'm saying? The cool, suave, um, fly, and uh, romantic. You know. <laughs> so I like when I was young, he had me playing like. He had me putting in cheat codes. He had me putting in the up, down, left, start, uh, A, B, uh, up, up, down, down, left, left, right, right, uh, start, left, select, down. You know, the the the, the code, the code. They have Alter Beast, which is dope. Alter Beast is dope. Just on, it, it's, it's dope, period, man. Uh, Gunstar Heroes, I never played it. Have you ever played Gunstar Heroes? And so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they have 10 games right now on reveal. And 30 more to come, bro. 30 more to come. These are the games that I'm hoping, I'm praying is on this system, bro. I'm gonna need some NBA Jams Tournament Edition. It has to be Tournament Edition. I'm gonna need Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. It has to be. You have to put that on there. I need Streets of Rage 2. I mean, look at the hat. I don't know if you can read it. Streets of Rage. You know what I'm saying? It's out here. I need Bart Simpson's Nightmare. I'm gonna need Tom and Jerry Frantic Attack. Oh, slow down, Dazzy. You're killing them right now. I'm gonna need Jurassic Park Rampage Edition. It has to be the Rampage Edition. Or I don't even want to deal with the Sega. Don't even waste my time and put the regular Jurassic Park on there. Give me Jurassic Park Rampage Edition. And I guess, man, I had this game. It was the X Men game, bro. That game was hard as hell. It had like Nightcrawler, Wolverine, Cyclops, Storm. It had Iceman in it. It it was a hard ass game. If people know what I'm talking about, my 90s kids and and, and the people in the in the 80s kids know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about this damn X Men game. It was terrible. And I'm gonna need those games up there, man. And many more. There's other games I can't think of right now, but I definitely need them. If you can think of more games, or if you know any games that you want to be on here, let me know, bro. Let me put it in the uh, comments and we can talk about it because I want to see what you guys want to see on here. Maybe the games I mentioned were whack, so I don't know. You can pre-order this at Amazon, Perfect. GameStop, Perfect. VGP.ca, I'm assuming that's in Cali. Perfect. EB Games. Perfect. You know what EB Games is. So yeah, man, I'm pretty much excited, man. Um, Sega was for the cool kids back in the day, man. Sega was for the cool kids. You had a... People had a Super Nintendo. I used to be jealous of people that had a Super Nintendo, though, for a while, until I got mine. Because they used to play Street Fighter Heavy. I could have played Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter 2 also, but it was just like something about it. Everybody that had Super Nintendo had Street Fighter, and everybody that had Sega had Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I'm super excited for this, to be honest with you. They have Battletoads? Battletoads, is it on? I can't remember. Battletoads, do they have it on Sega? I hope they had it on on uh, this mini classic. If it was Sega, I don't know if it was Nintendo only. That's it, man. Hey, I'm excited. Let me know how you feel about it. Um, September 19th, 2019. I already got it pre-ordered. I went to Amazon. I'll try to put the link if it's still up for pre-order. I'll put the links uh, below in the description, man. This is, I love it, dude. This is last minute too. I wasn't even gonna buy it. But for now, I'm just gonna play the original Sega Genesis Mini. You know what I'm saying? Right here. Boom, Game Gear, what's up? Shout out to my boy, Marquise, who hooked me up with this because he know how crazy I am about retro stuff. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. <laughs> and I'll be real with you, it doesn't work. So <laughs> I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fix this somehow. Oh, do I have any batteries? Does it work? Hold on, hold on, let me see. Yeah, it, it, it's busted. No, I'm lying, I need batteries. <laughs> so, that was the second Genesis Mini Classic. It's coming out September 19, 2019. I'm your favorite internet, big brother. You guys are my kin, folks. I appreciate you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for following this channel. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you so much, man. Really, really. Uh, I'm getting my followers up, you know what I'm saying? One person every two weeks, so I can I can deal with that. Anyway, man, I'll catch you guys later. Be easy. You're always invited to the family picnic. I love you. Big Boy Daddy out.